Hey guys, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, hey guys. So, first thing I'm going to mention, because many of you probably already noticed it, my nails are not painted. I know. I feel completely naked. <laughs> but, um, no, I'm just kidding. But I, it, it is weird. It's weird for me. Um, but I needed to give them a break, so, uh, yeah. That's why. Okay, great. That's out of the way. So, welcome to a brand new reading that I, um, actually, uh, okay, so somebody left a comment a while ago talking about, um, wanting, uh, suggesting that I do readings for, career readings for the Divine Feminine, and I think also, I think they just said the Divine Feminine, but obviously I would take that as for both, the whole collective, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And so, um... Today, I got the inspiration to do so, and so that's what we're doing here. So, But this is not necessarily a career reading. This is a um, spiritual mission check-in, yeah? So this is uh, information or just a reading on, you know, where are we on our spiritual missions. Um, this really doesn't, is, the focus is not on love here, okay? The focus is on um, what we're providing to the world around us, how we're being of service, how we are serving ourselves and spirit, um, you know, how we are, uh, where we are in, you know, in terms of our soul contracts with the things that we're supposed to be doing here on earth, other than coming into union with our twin, right? <laughs> okay, great. Um, um, so I am going to be doing this for the Divine Feminine and then for the Divine Masculine also. So there will be two, there are two videos. Um, and I'm going to be do this, doing this in the mirror format. So uh, I have two decks. I'm using the Arcanum deck for and, and the Golden U Universal Tarot. The Arcanum deck is going to be symbolizing where we currently are. It's going to be speaking to the current energies um, of where we are in our spiritual missions. The Golden Universal Tarot is going to be symbolizing or going to be speaking to future energies, what we are attracting, what we are manifesting. Now, I am not a fortune teller, okay? I am not someone that wants to read the cards and tell you exactly what's going to happen to you in the future. Doesn't work that way, okay? I'm not a fortune teller because I, I understand that, number one, we have free will, but number two... Anything can change in a split second, like in an instant, okay? So, this is not supposed to be 100%. This is absolutely going to happen. This is what we are currently manifesting, what we are currently attracting from our current standpoint, yeah? And then I'm going to be getting some Oracle Guidance. For the Divine Feminine, I'll be getting Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck, and then um, doing some Oracle Guidance from the Lightworker Oracle. And then for the Divine Masculine, I'm sticking with the Oracle of Unicorns, and then also the Lightworker. Yeah? All right, guys. So, enough of me rambling on. Why don't we get into this, yeah? Woo! <laughs> All right, Divine Feminine, let's get into this, shall we? So the Arcanum deck is going to be your current energies surrounding your spiritual mission, where you are on your spiritual path. The Golden Universal Tarot is going to be future energies. What are you manifesting? What are you tra attracting? What are you in the process of bringing together? What are you in the process of moving towards? Stuff like that. Yes? All right, guys, let's settle in. Take a deep breath. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the Divine Feminine Collective. Please help us understand where we are in our currently in our spiritual missions, represented by the deck on the left, and what are we moving towards? What are we attracting? What are we manifesting in terms of our spiritual missions here on Earth, represented by the deck on the right? And this is... This reading specifically here is for the Divine Feminine. Thank you so much, Spirit. I'm really interested to see how much mirroring comes out in this. Because I only ever do these readings for, you know, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. So this is 
I'm really interested to see how these work out. So I'm going to get into shuffling the energies for you, Divine Feminine, for current energies. Yeah, where are you currently? Already, I'm seeing orange. And to me, that is speaking to healing the emotional body. But this is not just you individually. This is a collective thing. The Divine Feminine right now is charged with healing the emotional body of the planet. Yeah, ha, ha. Uh, and that makes perfect sense. Especially with all the feminine energy that's now coming forward, especially within the collective. It's really time to do that. It's really time. And then there's that, and then there's yellow. And there, there's willpower, okay? So that is the divine feminine having the willpower to stand strong in her sense of self is literally what the universe just said to me. Um, and that's excellent, divine feminine. Like, good on ya. All right, one more shuffle. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And then we're going to cut the deck here. Boop. All right. So this is your current energy, Divine Feminine. I'm going to get to that in just a second, but I do want to shuffle the other deck now. This deck is going to symbolize what you are moving towards. What are you attracting? What are you manifesting? Yeah. What is, what's coming up for you, Divine Feminine, on your spiritual path? All right, guys. Oh, and keep in mind, I didn't say this in the intro, but this is, in fact, a general reading. All right, Divine Feminine? So, um, and actually, depending on how you guys like this, please let me know in the comments section um, how this resonates with you, if you guys want this. If you want a reading, a personal reading, I am more, more than happy to offer this, okay? So you guys just let me know what you think. Last shuffle. Excellent. Let's cut the deck. And now I know I'm doing this a little weird differently. Um, other than, you know, this is just for the Divine Feminine Collective. Normally, I start with the second deck that I shuffle. But this time, I'm going with the first deck. Boop. Boop. All right. So, overall energy in terms for you, Divine Feminine, of where you currently stand on your spiritual mission, we've got... Hell yeah, we've got the Ace of Swords, y'all. <laughs> that couldn't be any more perfect, could it? I mean, honestly, so okay, fine. Think in terms of your relationship with your Divine Masculine. Many of us have come to this Ace of Swords realization, aha moment, bing, there goes that light bulb, okay? But this is understanding who you truly are in greater terms and now being able to express that and bring that forward because there's new, I'm really picking up that there is new knowledge coming through with an understanding of who you are and with an understanding of um, what you have to offer this world and seeing things as they truly are, right? And in terms of seeing things as they truly are, you got the page of pentacles in reverse, okay? So to me, this is understanding that you are not in fact um, inadequate, or you're not really a page, you're much more able-bodied than someone is just, that is just a page, okay? Oddly enough, <laughs> we've got the Empress in reverse, and then we also have the Hermit, all right? These are your current energies. Now, I, I, I say oddly enough because because the Empress represents the Divine Feminine, right? So Divine Feminine, you're coming through in your reading right now, which is excellent. Um, but here's the thing. With this Ace of Swords here, the Ace of Swords is saying that, it, especially in relation to the Empress in Reverse and the Page of Pentacles in Reverse, the Empress in Reverse is someone that's not in their true power. It's a, it's a feminine energy that is not in their true power, okay? And in not being in your true power, Divine Feminine, you felt like a Page of Pentacles, but you felt stuck in this Page of Pentacles energy, like you could never get out of it. Well, you can thank the patriarchy for that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so, okay. But now we have that aha moment. We have that Ace of Swords, which says to us, no, actually, we are extremely powerful, abundant, able-bodied, strong. And yeah, we have these flowing emotions, but you know what? Those flowing emotions are our magic, right? Many times women and feminine energies are devalued for their emotions, even demonized. 
Not anymore. Why? Because you're not letting it happen anymore. Because with the hermit here, you understand your true light. You have found your true light and you're ready to go. You're ready to let this light shine. And that's excellent, Divine Feminine. That is absolutely excellent. So let's get into the storyline here. We've got, damn, the King of Swords. So this is you really accepting your masculine your masculinity and stepping into it and acting from a place of righteousness. Yes, but this is not overt righteousness. This is well placed. Okay, this is righteousness on behalf of all, for the highest good of all. Okay, this is diplomacy. This is seeing clearly, understanding things as they truly are, not the way someone else or even you want them to be. Okay, King of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Pentacles. Bringing, I'm seeing the King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles as grounding this knowledge and this truthfulness into reality like bringing it to completion in the sense of um making it a foundational cornerstone truth diplomacy logic but this is not in it this is not um at the expense of emotion of feeling if it were, it, then it, to me, if, 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 it would be the King of Swords in reverse, okay? Because in terms of the, of the reading that we're doing right now and in terms of the energy that I'm picking up on, this is someone that is logical but understands the value of emotion and feeling. You wouldn't have, this is someone that literally is saying to me, we wouldn't have those elements to ourselves if they weren't necessary, if they weren't supposed to be a part of us. So logically, logically, why would we cut them out? Moving forward, Divine Feminine, we've got the Eight of Wands in reverse, coupled with the Seven of Wands. Okay. Standing your ground, Divine Feminine. Currently, you are standing your ground, and you're not, you're not moving anywhere. The, the, the Eight of Wands in reverse is um, not moving. It's also not communicating. And I'm actually, I'm really seeing this person here at the Seven of Wands. He's standing his ground against all those other wands, those six other wands, but he ain't saying a thing. It's like he's fighting back, but he's not fighting back. He's fighting back in the sense of he's defending his position, but he's not engaging in superfluous conversation, in petty, meaning, meaningless arguments. I'm kind of getting some Queen of Swords energy here. But ultimately, the Queen of Swords is not necessary right now. What is necessary is the, for the Divine Feminine to stand in her masculine power with the King of Swords. Showing, showing through wherewithal that no matter what comes flying at her, honestly, no matter what comes flying at her with the Eight of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Wands here, no matter what comes flying at her, she's not going to be swayed. Because little did, little did the patriarchy know, but the divine feminine can, can be just as logical, if not more. Masculine energy doesn't, I mean, men, those who are in control of our world right now, do not hold the monopoly on logic. And let me tell you, when you put emotion behind logic, man, that shit is 10 times infinitely stronger. Forget 10 times, infinitely stronger. But when you base your life strictly on logic and what you can tangibly see, feel, hear, taste, whatever, without expanding your mind to what else you're capable of, you limit yourself. And the Divine Feminine understands that now. Honestly, the Divine Feminine has always understood it. But now the Divine Feminine is in much more of a position to let that come forward, okay? Moving on, we have, whoa. We've got the counterparts here, Divine Feminine. We've got the Emperor in reverse. Now, both of you, both the Divine Masculine and the Divine energy, Feminine energies are reversed here. Okay? The Emperor in reverse is coupled with the Six of Cups in reverse. I really didn't want this to be about love, but here we go. Currently, on your Divine Mission, Divine Feminine, 
you have to deal with the fact that, for the most part, the divine masculine is reversed. And yeah, you two have this soulmate, deep soulmate relationship here with the Six of Cups, but you're not falling into nostalgia and you're realizing that right now it's not happening. And I mean by it's not happening in, that, in the sense that in this current moment, you two are not together for the most part. There may be many of you that are actually in union that are watching this. But ultimately, what I'm really getting from this card, from this combination is, regardless of whether or not so-and-so is your divine masculine twin flame, divine twin flame, regardless of whether or not you guys have this deep soul connection or not, it, that does not matter. Because ultimately, you've got a job to do, just like the Divine Masculine has a job to do. So what I'm really seeing with this card combination right now is that this connection either is not getting in the way or needs to no longer be in the way of you serving your mission, Divine Feminine. All right? I literally just heard you have got to let this go. Turn around and look somewhere else. Focus on your mission. Focus on what you need to do. So obviously this right here is a message for those of us in the Divine Feminine Collective that are still wrapped up in their Divine Masculine and are still holding on or holding, putting their life on hold in order to wait for your Divine Masculine to be around before you start serving your mission. No. No, 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 Divine Feminine. And many of you are waking up to this now. I mean, honestly, uh, granted, there are a ton of you on this channel that have been following me that are already in that energy. I know I'm very much in that energy. But there are still a lot of, some of us, a good portion, less than half, but there's still a good portion of us that are, well, okay, maybe not, because I did see 60%, but then I was trying to be generous. So maybe it is around 60% of the collective. Now, this could be just 60% of the, the, of the people following my channel or of the energies that I'm channeling at this moment, but which is more than half, <laughs> um, not much more, but still more. But anyway, um, this is turning around. This is in the process of turning around. I don't know where I was going with that. Moving on. <laughs> Finally, for the current energies, okay, we've got the world in reverse with the Two of Cups. Damn it, I did not want this to be a love reading, y'all. <laughs> But anyway, I mean, these are messages. These are Now, look, I don't want to say, I don't want to devalue. I don't want to say that you coming into union with your divine masculine is not going to be helpful. It's going to be immensely, immensely helpful, okay? But there are still some cycles that need to end with the world in reverse. For the most part, those cycles are cycles of codependency. It is co when you are approaching your life and your situation, especially when it comes to your spiritual path, your spiritual mission, your soul mission, right? What it is you're meant to be doing here on earth, other than coming into union with your twin. When you when you put that on hold and say, okay, well, I'll do it when my when I'm with my divine masculine, that is codependent. That is codependency 101. If you feel like you cannot serve your mission without your divine masculine by your side, even if you are one of the one of us who has never even met your divine masculine in the physical, but you're waiting for your divine masculine to come forward to do your mission, that is codependency. But also understand that this card, even though, even, even though I did not necessarily want this to be a love reading, but the universe is saying, no, I know you didn't, Eric, but this needs to come through. Cycles are ending when it comes to your relationship with your divine masculine. You have the two of cups here. The two of cups is upright. The world is reversed, but that just means cycles are ending. The clock is ticking. You're almost out of this. Keep serving your mission is what <laughs> is what the universe just said. And I just chuckled because I just noticed that the Divine Masculine, the Emperor here... Oh! Also, I'm getting another message um, from the Emperor and the Six of Cups in reverse, but I just noticed that the Divine Masculine is kind of looking up at the Divine Feminine. But the Divine Feminine is reversed, and so she's not really looking at him. 
I mean, they're both reversed, but he's kind of looking at her. She's not really looking at him, is she? <laughs> okay, the other message that just popped out here with the Emperor in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse. There are childhood wounds that are being healed here when it comes to masculine energies. Manipulative and twisted masculine energies. Yeah? And that's really excellent. That is very, very good. All right, so let's get into the future energies. What are we facing? What are we manifesting? What are we attracting? What can we be looking forward to in the future? Something like that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We've got the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. The Queen of Wands in reverse, to me, is talking about clearing up these kinds of energies on behalf of the Divine Feminine, uh, on behalf of femininity to begin with as a whole, standing up in a new found form of integrity. And, and that would be mirroring, absolutely mirroring, even though it's not the same card, it's similar energy. Because in the, in, the current, in the current moment, we're standing with this aha moment, this knowledge, this realization is what the universe just said. And that, what is that realization? Twisted feminine energy with the queen of wands in reverse. Also, Twisted Feminine Energy with the Empress in reverse, right? Okay. Oh, we've got the star. Hey, Divine Feminine, healing is coming. And this is healing on behalf of the whole collective. This is healing on behalf of the whole human collective, yes? We've got the Two of Swords in reverse. No longer being in a stalemate. No longer being blindfolded. No longer feeling in indecisive. Being sure of ourselves, of yourselves. Knowing which direction to go in and making those moves. Taking the blinders off. Allowing your intuition to guide you even when you can't really see. And what does that have to do? And, 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 and the star says that uh, completely. Because oftentimes when I'm explaining the star to people, I see it as... It's real dark, but you got this one piece of light that's guiding you. You don't know really where you're going, but you're still allowing that light to guide you. So here, I'm seeing the star and the moon that's on, the, on this card here in the Two of Swords reversed as allowing your intuition to show you which way to go. Excellent, Divine Feminine. And finally, we've got, underneath all that, we've got the King of Pentacles upright. More masculine energy coming through for you, Divine Feminine. But this is absolutely saying to me that you are what you can look forward to. Granted that you continue to serve your mission, you continue to do your healing, you absolutely can look forward to being very, very stable. Powerful too, is what I just heard also. That is excellent, Divine Feminine. Let's get into the storyline for upcoming future energies. We've got the two of wands. Okay. So you're going to, you're going to need to make a decision, but this is not like being indecisive here with the two of swords. No. Why? Because the two of swords is reversed. So the blindfold has been taken off. So now, now that you see clearly, now you can make an educated decision, especially with that king of pentacles there. You can make an educated decision as to how you are going to reach your goal. The goal that you're being guided towards with the star here. Yes? Two of Wands is coupled with... Yeah! The Seven of Cups in reverse. No more illusion. No more distractions either. And what's that distraction? Oh, the patriarchy. Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean... And honestly, guys, I do, I feel like I need to say this. The pendulum has swung from a matriarchal society to a patriarchal society. Okay, so it's going to have to, we're going to be going through this for some time here. It's got to swing back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it just levels out. And we're balanced. We're a, we're, we're a combination of matriarchal and patriarchal. Yes. We are a combination of masculine and feminine, yes? A healthy balance. Okay, moving forward, we've got 
The Nine of Swords in reverse. Excellent. No more anxiety, no more sleepless nights, no more fear. Exactly. And look at where that's falling. Right under the Seven of Wands and the Eight of Wands in reverse. You're not, you're not, you're not getting into meaningless conversations. You're not um, being petty really even anymore. You're not afraid. You're not afraid to stand up for yourself. Nine of Swords in reverse is coupled with the Ace of Cups. So what this is saying to me is in not being afraid, in not, in not being anxious about it, in not losing sleep over it, you have a brand new emotional beginning. This could mean love. We could be, we could be, I mean, we could be, now, okay, so I did, I knew, I know I didn't want this to be a love reading. I wanted this to be a spiritual path, spiritual mission reading, but at the same time, the universe is reminding me at this moment, part of our path is coming into union with our twin flames. I just saw 22, 22 on the counter. Part of our path is coming into union with our twin flames because part of our path is um, anchoring in this divine partnership template when it comes to relationships. And twin flames are on the leading edge of that. We are teaching what it means to love so yourself and someone else unconditionally. And so now what you can look forward to, divine feminine, feminine given you continue to do your work, ace of cups, unconditional love. And not needing to be afraid of that anymore. Not fearing that you will never have that. Because you absolutely will. Yes? Excellent. Moving forward. We have... Oop, there's the mirroring. Two of cups in reverse. But this time it's in reverse. All right? And actually it's falling right under the emperor and the six of cups in reverse. Okay, that is coupled with the two of pentacles. All right, this is not what it seems, okay? Lord, guys, look what I just noticed. We have all four twos in the future energies here. Okay, so this is what you're, this is, this is something you need to keep on your radar, Divine Feminine. Because with all of this masculine energy that's coming through, it makes perfect sense that this is something that we would need to keep awareness of. We have to be able to balance our mission with our romantic life, our family life, our friendship. We have to be able to balance everything. Okay? Keep that in mind. Don't fall, work your best to not fall into the pit, the, the trap that many masculine energies and men fell into where they were overworking. They were putting too much emphasis on work and barely any emphasis on their love life, their marriages, their girlfriends, their boyfriends, whatever, their children. Now, that was an effect of men and masculine energies being taught that they had to provide, so they had to do all the work, and then, but then there was no balance, and so things got out of hand. The universe is asking you not to allow this to happen to you or your twin flame or your families. Yes, Divine Feminine? Because I am picking up there is a risk that this could happen with all this masculinity, masculine energy coming through. Don't allow yourself to overwork. You can take time away. You can rest. Everything does not have to happen at once. Remember that we're all doing this together, okay? You can take the baby steps if you choose to. That is perfectly fine, says the universe. You're still allowed to enjoy your lives. It does not have to be all work, right? Right. Finally, for future energies, we've got... Ooh, the moon in reverse. So, secrets coming to light. I like that, Divine Feminine, with the Ten of Wands. Hell yeah, lots of things being revealed about all of the burdens that we have been carrying that have been way too unnecessary. And yes, I said that on purpose, way too unnecessary. Revealing just how burdensome our lives have become, our system has become, our society has become. 
And that falls directly in line with what we were just talking about with the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Cups in reverse. Overworking. Not balancing. Right? I absolutely love that all of the twos came out here. We did get some mirroring with the Two of Cups. That's great. But there's a lot of balance energy here for the future. I mean, balance is imperative, Divine Feminine, okay? And I know you already have this, but the universe is just trying to put that on your radar. Just maintain your balance. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically. Yes? And I will go ahead and say we do have more mirroring in um, the King energy that came through. It's not the same card. But it's still masculine energy coming through. We've got the King of Swords and we've got the King of Pentacles. And both of them are upright, guys, so I love that. Okay, let's get into the Oracle Guidance. So, for the Divine Feminine, we're starting with the Fairy Forest. I just blew... <laughs> I just blew all kinds of sage ashes everywhere. Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> I'll clean it up. All right, so best messages for the divine feminine in terms of um, spiritual mission, spiritual path. Yes? Here we go. Best messages for the divine feminine, please. Best messages for the Divine Feminine. We've got one. We've got Awen. Gift. Divine Inspiration. Awakening. Hello. Okay, one more. And then I am going to get into the book for this. Oh, Spirit saying three. We've got the Wizard. Rune King. Wise One. Counselor. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, finally. Volva. Prophecy. Guidance. Direction. Okay, yeah, that makes the both make that all three of them make great sense. Um, but the divine feminine really is the leader here when it comes to the twin flame journey, and when it comes to spirituality, whereas the masculine is the leader when it comes to the material world and manifesting within the material world. Okay, so let's get into the book here. Card number forty-one. Awen. Gift, divine inspiration, and awakening. Awen translates to divine inspiration or flowing breath. It is a mystical force that offers us a, mo a moment where there is a sudden surge in newfound knowledge and a sense that before we were given, I'm sorry, uh, uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is a mystical force that offers us a moment where there is a sudden surge in newfound knowledge, inspired thought, the ability to awaken our dormant talents and a sense that before we were given the gift of Awen, we were like sleepwalkers. Awen is a moment where life is forever changed. And once we drink of Awen, uh, or feel it is a beam of divine light entering us and changing us, we can never return to who we were. And the world is never the same again. So when the card comes to you, you must know that having experienced what has taken place, you cannot pretend life has never been this, has, <laughs> can ever be the same. You have lifted the veil and you have seen the face of the divine. You have drunk the elixir of the gods and the fairies have offered you their greatest gift. Awen does not stay, but the knowledge of what we have experienced in that moment changes us forever. So now that you have had this life-changing experience and had been, and been given this incredible moment of inspiration, you can either pretend to yourself that life is without magic, or you can continue to embrace the magic and the enhancement and the enchantment of every moment. Now, if you choose, you can become more fully alive. And while this is no easy path, it is one that is full of deep, joyful moments, true connections, and poetic, blindly beautiful experiences. I'm sorry, blindingly beautiful experiences. Awen will come from time to time, and you are so blessed for having had this most sublime and life-changing of all mystical experiences. But also, though, 
I really feel like that's the energy that the Divine Feminine uh, carries all the time. And I feel like that's a current energy, especially with everything that's going on. Vibrations rising, Divine Feminine really stepping into your power. It's like you're walking around triggering people. And that's really not such a bad thing, guys. It really isn't. All right, the second card that came out was number 15, the Wizard, Rune King, Wise One, Counselor. Okay. The wizard is out and proud about their beliefs and revels in the public use of knowledge. This is a card that can turn up when one has embraced their spiritual journey. Well, look at that. And your joy in embracing your true self is evident. There will also be recognition, sometimes very favorable indeed. You are beginning to do what you once only dreamed of doing, becoming who you once dreamed of being. Your aura is changed with healing green light. Your eyes shine with love and confidence, and your beauty is that of the inner natural divine self expressed outwardly. You are living your intuitive life outwardly in the world, fearlessly, powerfully, magically, and thus you are transforming and healing the world, as well as providing a loving example of a wise one, a wizard, to all who encounter you. No longer do you fear rejection from friends or family as you embrace your spiritual and personal path. This is not imaginary. There is nothing alien or bizarre about being intuitive and living magically, reconnecting with your power. Others may not understand what you speak of at this time. Do not allow their limited vision to, di to dictate whom you become in this world. You will soon be asked for your guidance. Offer it as you are able to help. I Whoa. <laughs> That's amazing. That is really amazing. Okay, finally, we have 33, vulva. Prophecy, guidance, direction. There are those who can see beyond the present moment, who can see the way the web is woven, and who can connect to its strands and share with others the messages they long to hear. Such a one is the vulva, a witch, a seer, a woman who can see beyond the physical world, when she comes to you, you are being asked to connect to your own roots, symbolized by her staff. You can connect deeply into the earth and begin to listen to the language of the world and receive its messages. It is imperative that you honor her and her messages through respectful listening and by making space to act on the guidance given. The, adv the advice and magical guidance given through this card is feminine in its aspect, yet it is anything but stereotypical. It is strong and wild and fierce. There is a ruthless quality to the truth that will now come to you. But because of its clarity, there will be a great healing. You are also being asked to consider your independence, to no longer give up your freedom simply because, simply to have relationships. The vulva is not celibate, but she never allows herself to be possessed by a relationship. This, is too, this too is your fate for a time. Hear now the voice of the vulva. Take up your staff, strike it into the earth, and listen for the messages to come forth. Wow. That is so powerful. So, so powerful. And I really believe that these cards are speaking directly to the path of the Divine Feminine. That's excellent, guys. That's, oh my God, that's so great. Okay. Finally, Oracle Guidance from... Ooh, I gotta get going. Oracle guidance from the Light Worker Oracle deck. Okay, this is just gonna be this. All right. Oracle guidance from the Light Worker Oracle deck for the Divine Feminine. Yes, 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 Divine Feminine. Two. No, let's try that again. For the Divine Feminine, please. One. Okay, so that did come back out. Third ray of creative intelligence. And one more, please, Spirit. One more, please. This one. 34. Hold your center. Okay. Excellent. Let's get into the book. Sorry, give me just a second here. Okay. 
All right, here we go. Card number three, third ray of creative intelligence. All right, the third ray of creative intelligence brings the gift of practical spirituality and develops the talent for grounding inspired creativity into the world. It empowers your manifestation. This ray brings many gifts, including new ideas and the practical support needed to bring them to life. The ability to organize, make connections and networks, and synthes yes, synthesize information from various sources into one coherent whole. Archangel Shamuel helps you receive this gift from the universe with love and intelligence. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's great. And finally, we have card number 34. Hold your center. And this card, I remember this card coming out in terms for the, of the Divine Feminine for uh, uh, not too long ago in one of the conversations, I believe it was. Anyway, 34, hold your center. Have you been rushing out to meet others, trying to bend or accommodate their needs at the expense of your own well-being and inner peace? Now you are to strengthen your own energy, your own boundaries, to find your ground, firmly place your feet there and do not move. Feel your feet anchoring you like a beautiful tree. Let yourself experience quiet certainty as you hold your center with commitment, courage, and consciousness. And this is exactly the energy I was picking up with the Eight of Wands in reverse. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. And the Seven of Wands. You're not moving. You're staying right where you are, Divine Feminine. And that's excellent because right where you are is right where you need to be. All right. All right. So I would say that was a pretty kick-ass reading, Divine Feminine. Please, guys, don't hesitate to let me know how this resonated with you guys. Um, and if you want... If you want a personalized reading just like this, I am more than happy to provide it to you guys. All right? So there it is. Much love. Take care. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again shortly. Yeah? Mwah. Bye.